carbs are here to stay and probably save the day. What's up everybody, I'm Tina Joy, the yoga nutritionist. I'm here to explain to you, do we even need protein? Yes, okay. Well, first of all, it's something I see so much with a lot of influencers that I follow that I love. They're like, okay, I'm doing this protein shake. First of all, coming from nutritionists here, Protein, we only need to consume about five to 6% of calories of our daily intake and protein, and at most, it would be 10%. So when I found out this fact, I realized we definitely are consuming so much more protein than we need as, as a society as a whole, and it just makes me think, like, are these protein powders any good for us? Are they helping us in our like exercise, whatever? And we're really not getting that much out of the protein powders. So when you're next time you go and you create your protein powder, or you're deciding that you're gonna just drop carbs altogether and leave them in, in the dust and not eat them anymore. No, 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 that's not what you should do. You should actually start supplementing more of your meals with more carb, you know foods, vegetables, 100%, and just not as much protein as we're told because what happens is that if we consume too much protein, it just becomes stored as fat. And if we're not moving around and expending all that energy, it's really not going to do us any good just sitting there in our system. So it's something that you need to think about, um, especially during these winter months, a lot of us aren't moving as much. Um, I encourage everybody to try to move around for at least half an hour every day. If you can, get outside. It's really good for you, not just your exercise, but for your mental health as well. Um, you don't even realize it, but the narrow pathways in our brain are affected tremendously in such a positive way, just going outside for a little bit. And it really does help with anyone that experiences seasonal depression or depression. Um, I know that I for sure experience seasonal depression and just being able to move and get your body flowing a little bit definitely will help you. As far as the protein goes, it's not really going to do too much and it's not going to help you. It's just a lot of the marketing that we've been told and something to be mindful of because we really do end up eating a lot more of it than we need. And what happens when we eat too much protein, so after your workout, when the muscle tissue gets it's a little bit torn and you know you have a little bit of repairing that the body needs to do, the protein breaks down and comes in and helps there. However, over time, if you consume too much protein, then it can start affecting your calcium loss. And there's a lot more to that. So like, follow, share for more.